hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel as you all know by now that i do unboxing and tech reviews so some days ago around seven days ago i posted a question on samsung gear not being supported with my moto z uh, gear 2 so 380 r380 so they had a reply that it is not supported with any non samsung gear uh, non samsung gear uh, devices so please understand so what i wanted was i was actually looking to sell it but then i came across a post where you could actually install some custom roms in your um, gear 2 and get it to run with other uh, other mobiles so just to have a outlook of this uh, custom rom it's a marshmallow update for gear 2 so i have installed that and i'll be showing you today how to do that and get your gear to working with the mobiles as well so what we will do is i'll show you how to install it in your uh, gear 2 so let's get on with it first of all there are a few files that you need uh, with this so I'll be providing the uh, file links in the description below and uh, you need Odin as well as uh, the custom ROM you need a USB cable, a laptop and the charging cradle of the device itself so let's get on with it so now first of all what you have to do is get your gear to into download mode so the way to get it into download mode is to press the power button of the gear 2 till it starts rebooting so here it says rebooting then you have to press the uh, power button again four to five times and it will go into reboot mode so you have to here then you have to select download mode and it will show a screen like that and after that you have to attach your USB cable into your uh, laptop or PC and then on the desktop you have to search Odin and once you switch on Odin in administrator mode it will show uh, it's ok in COM7 I have attached the uh, device into a USB uh, thing and it will show ok uh, in blue color id.com then you have to select the AP mode and you'll see a one device has been added at 007 and then you have to select AP mode and go to select uh, either gear wear 2 that is marshmallow or the wear 5.1.1 and you have to select that and what you have to do next is press start so if it is uh, properly in the uh, ROM is proper it will start the process but know that this file is not complete so I'll just switch off Odin again and run as administrator then again I have to select my file which I know is complete and that is the gear uh, wear 6.2 uh, that is the marshmallow rom and as you can see the change in uh, size and then you have to press start so if it, the file is proper the process will move ahead and just complete it and the gear wear uh, gear 2 will start downloading so as you can see the process over here is replicated over there the bar is moving forward in the root TFS mode and here it will keep downloading you have to wait till the download is complete so after it is done it will reboot into a recovery screen which will come up shortly it's a team win uh, team uh, win recovery now what you have to select is the wipe and you have to get it to factory reset as you can see 
I'll just factory reset it. Till then, <coughs> I'll get you to what uh, show you what you have to download on your uh, mobile. You have to search. On your mobile, you have to search Android Wear, right? And you'll get this uh, Android Wear for smartwatch, and you have to uh, keep it installed. Uh, and to forget the watch, yeah. So I can show you what we can start doing again. So it is still formatting the watch. So it is performing a it has perform finished performing a factory reset as you can see, and you have to do back and back again. You don't have to format again, and you have to select. the reboot option it is on the bottom right and you have to reboot into system so the first time boot will take a little time as you can see it has booted into the thing uh, booted into the system now here you have to go into the Android Wear app and start your boot Bluetooth as well. And it is no longer using the Samsung Gear app, so it is using a different uh, gear, uh, different app. It is basically Android Wear. So when the, the ROM is successfully installed, it will say pass. And as you can, if I zoom in, you can see that all threads completed, succeed one, failed zero. So that shows that your uh, ROM has been successfully installed and as we can see it has started popping up. It's in Chinese at the moment because it's a Chinese ROM you can select your uh, language as English. So it will be, it will take a lot of power out of the mobile so you can just select it. Now you have to select, uh, you are ready to swipe to continue and you have to pair with your mobile as you can see here I'll retry so yeah here is straight away your uh, gear 2 gets detected and you pair okay so we have downloaded the okay so it gives a pairing uh, code which you have to accept again and you are paired as you can see it is paired with the mobile uh, and it will start updating and synchronizing your apps with the mobile so this way you can connect your gear to, to non samsung devices it's a uh, a little odd way of doing it but gear 2 has no option to uh, connect to non uh, non samsung devices and uh, certain samsung devices itself it does not even pair with j7 2016 model so there's a problem with that and once this is done all the notifications work whatsapp calls whatsapp messages uh, emails everything work even uh, sl doesn't work but google health does a uh, good enough job for it uh, so this is my video about the marshmallow update for gear 2 and it is a pretty uh, neat rom i'll be doing a review about it and telling my pros and cons later so uh, I hope you like my video. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe. It will be helpful for me and have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you for watching. And here you can see the boot up screen. I will be doing the review later. It is still charging. Thank you.